What is up, everybody? This is going to be game one of the Mets versus the Royals in the World Series tonight. So I'm going to give you my World Series predictions all right now. So let's quickly give both teams a round of applause. Okay, so for game one, the Mets chose to do glow with Matt Harvey. Well, at this point, with the Royals rotation, I'm not sure they should have started Harvey first, but just, like, look at him. I mean, his play this year so far, like, I'd probably give him, like, an A-. minus. He's been awesome, but he's not at that point where he's, like, a legitimate ace. I mean, the Mets' legitimate ace is a totally different story. He is definitely guy number two, for sure. Okay, now moving on to who the Royals chose... <laughs> Just look at this pick. NIGGA! Same reaction, Kevin. Same reaction. Mets take game one, no doubt. Okay, this is probably going to be one of the best game twos we've ever seen. If you look at this pitching matchup, just look at who is pitching against who. This is a battle of aces. I honestly don't know. I mean, did you guys see that? Cueto and DeGrom. Now, this is guy number one versus guy number one. Anyone can win this game. Even though Cueto has not had success at all in the postseason. I mean, just look at this ERA. This is crazy. Nigga! I mean, this is unreal. We're talking Jake Peavy numbers here. Jake PV numbers. And he's not good. I mean, who would have ever thought Johnny Cueto would have this bad of a reputation in the preseason? He was on the Reds. And I agree, the Reds. <laughs> oh my gosh. For all you non MLB fans out there and our NFL fans, the Reds, at this point, they're not the worst team, but they're kind of like, let's say, the Titans. That's a perfect example of the Reds. Like, they're nowhere in their divisional possibility of winning the division. They stink, and they have fast people. Or at least talking about the 2008 run, um, Titans with Chris Johnson basically equals Billy Hamilton. But Johnny Cueto, his ERA, that just damages his chances of winning this game if he really does not perform like his normal self in this one. Okay, now here are some offensive keys to the game that I think will definitely benefit in this game too, maybe even deciding it. Let's get into it. Well, a run scored, oh. and that ball is absolutely scorched to left. Three run shot, and the Mets have blown it open. Arietta at the belt. There goes Granderson. Fly ball center field. Pretty well hit. Fowler goes back. He won't get there. Granderson will score easily. Wright standing at second with an RBI double. It's pain. It's the postseason. He's not coming out. But that has not come close to healing. Yet. Here's one into right off the bat of Zobrist. It is over the head of Batista. Digging for third is Escobar. Into second with a double is Zobrist. It's second and third. Nobody out. Like he had that ball, huh? Did he have that for a second? And now Kane runs. And that's his third stolen base in the first three innings and a career high for him three stolen bases in one game so that makes up for the out now you're back to runners at second and third with two down and now you're looking for Haas to come through here Kane love it here he goes the pitch is inside and the throw was offline but really not in a bad spot 
Avilas had a chance to apply a high tag, but Escobar got his foot to the bag in front of the throw. I asked Esky, Esky yesterday if his legs are feeling fine and want to know if he's going to steal any bases for the people. And he says, I feel great. Maybe tonight. So he's got himself a bag. First one in a while. Good jump. Good slide. As you can see, the Royals might have the offensive advantage. Just look at the speed of Kane and Escobar. Those two will fly by you like nothing. Trust me, Kane is obviously is, is much faster than Escobar. Well, not much faster, but he is still faster. But they will both fly by you. Kane, no chance. Escobar, maybe a chance to nab him, but not most of the time. Those guys... They will get you if you're not paying attention. They will double steal on you, too. They will double steal. In the end, though, I think... I think... The Royals are good enough to get a win. Like, I believe they can take Game 2 and tie the series at 1-1. One and one. I, 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 I'm going to say Royals Game 2. Series tied 1-1. One All right, game three. Now, this one is between Noah Syndergaard. Yes, Noah Syndergaard. And Jordano Ventura. Okay, both these pitchers are beasts, but... Do you really think Jordano Ventura can beat <laughs> Noah Syndergaard? Noah Syndergaard is not going away, and he is just great. Great. Jordano is good, but nah, Syndergaard has this one, I think. I think Syndergaard can... Ventura is not at that, mo at that level where he can do the stuff that Syndergaard can. And that's why I believe the Mets take game two. I mean, <laughs> game three. Mets take series two to one lead. Okay, I just got to laugh for a second at this game four pitching matchup. Look who is pitching. Just look at this. Can you guys see who is pitching? Look who's pitching for the Royals. I mean, really? I mean, beside the fact that it's Chris Young, look at that pitch face. Did you guys see that pitch face? No. You are not going to win with that pitch face. Just no. Yo, look who the Mets are pitching with. Oh my gosh. I just got laugh for a second. Look at this. Look who the Mets are pitching with. This is just so funny. Okay, when I saw that Steven Matz was pitching, I looked at Terry Collins like... Boy, if you don't get... I mean, this is a relief pitcher turned starting pitcher this year. And he's a rookie... Also, and you're going to let him pitch Game 4 of the World Series. Terry, you're going to let Steven Matz pitch Game 4 of the World Series? This could be one of the most important games of the series. And you're letting Steven Matz take the mound? Put Bartolo in for Game 4. I mean... Nigga! Okay, we obviously can see here that um, the Royals are taking Game 4, okay? Royals take Game 4, tie the series 2-2. So that is all I have for you guys for now. I'll let you know. I will see what I can do for Games 5, 6, and 7 since they're not guaranteed yet. But if those games are possibilities, I will get my predictions right away to you guys. But for now, my predictions, as you just saw, were World Series... So far at game four tied two two. So we should we should be looking at a game six, possibly game seven. And I'll see you in see you in game five.